So we'll try and establish a good line there and take you back. Uh, but what it is is that Nagrat is threatening a strike over unpaid salary arrears. While we wait to establish the good line, 12 Nigerians are in the custody of the new Wager District Police as they were nearly attacked by some angry residents in that, vicinity, in that vicinity. Now, information went out Easter Monday morning that the men living in a three-bedroom house at Azuma, very close to Aigbe town, both suburbs of New Wager, were engaged in internet fraud after two new people who were brought from Nigeria to work there were reportedly confined without food and given laptops to defraud people. One of the two men escaped from the house and alerted some of the residents. Masola Gbagba has more in this report. Tucked away from the main Accra Kaswa street is a three-bedroom structure where the Nigerians allegedly carried out their nefarious activities. From afar, one can see the barbed wires to use as an additional protection for the giant fence. One of the escapees who narrated his ordeal to some of the residents said they were confined in rooms and handed laptops to defraud people. They were also denied food. One of the residents who encountered the Nigerian escapee is standing with me on a hill overlooking the house where they were confined. He told me how they got information about the activities of the men. And then I met the guy, we asked him, and he said he's a foreigner, he's a Nigeria. So uh, some people are brought him here, in Ghana here, five, four days ago. So he don't know any place, so they kidnapped them in a room. No food, no water. They beating them day and morning. So we follow him, do investigation, search the area, and then we meet. We saw the house, and then we enter the house. The time the guys see us in the front of the gate, they are starting jumping the wall. So two are running away, and then we are conquer the house, and then we open the gates. We enter inside. They are running away into the ceiling in the room. So. We put touch light on the ceiling. We see that they are sitting there on the top of the ceiling. So we will tell them to get down. If they don't come down, we will fire the house. So they fear. So all of them get down. That's why the people are calling police to come and arrest them. In the hall, we see many laptops at the center table. We counting the laptop. It's 25 laptops. Mm. I, he said they are kidnapped them. Mm for four days, okay. no food, no water. Even if, if you walk, feel it to sleep small, they will slap you, they beating you hardly. Because they, they told them that uh, the work they want to, them to do is a fraud work. So in the beginning, they, they didn't explain the work, the business for the guy to come to Ghana to do. But they said that it's a, a monthly work. So if they do the, the, that work, they will pay them monthly. So that's why he came. To Ghana here. They know eat, they know bath, they know sleep. Mm. So the time you enter the house, we see that the one is weak. He can't talk, he can't do anything. So the police are right there, that, that one to the hospital at Akaway. I've now met Odro Ampau at the new Wager District Police Station. He's the assemblyman for the area. He corroborates the report so far based on laptops retrieved from the house. When the Nigerian people, they give a problem here. They are not working. They are, when they come, they will rent the whole house and pile the people inside. Mm. Uh, this, for example, the boy says, when I come from, they say they are not, they can't go out. So the one who brought them here, and when you send them to the house, they, can, they are not going outside. Mm. Every day inside. So they are training them for the job they want to do for them. They are fraud and uh, meeting people and breaking people's houses and all these things. So they have, they have been trained. Now this is what they do. They'll they, they catch the whole house and they'll be there and, 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 and train themselves how to steal. Internet fraud. The 12 Nigerians are still in the custody of the new wager at police. When we arrived here, some officers were taking mark shots of the 12 Nigerians. We were interacting with a district commander here who told us that they found 20 laptops in the house where the Nigerians were operating. Uh, that is true. Uh, when we brought the, the 12 Nigerians to the office, some few minutes later, some, nine, some two other nine, nine, nine Nigerians called in to say that they were brought from Nigeria by one Nelson, who 
currently is not in Ghana. He's going back to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. They were brought to Ghana to come and work. As to what work they were coming to do, they were not told. Mm -hmm. And when they got here, then the the nurse told them they were coming to. He was coming to give them laptops, mm -hmm. and and teach them how how to browse the in, internet, mm -hmm. and defraud people. So they told him they were not interested. They were not interested, and for that matter, they wanted to go back to my Nigeria. Mm -hmm. The nursing did not allow, allow them to go back, but he rather left them behind. And, and he's, as we speak now, in my Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, he's leading over here. We found laptops. Mm -hmm. are, are you able to tell us how many laptops you, you found when you went to that? We found about close to 20 laptops, mm -hmm. you know, which we intend forward into our anti cyber, -cyber crime unit okay. for to assist us in further investigations. Mm -hmm. they, they are they are going to go through them and see whether they've actually used them in, in committing any crimes mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. of crime. Okay. Okay. So what's the police doing to apprehend the Nelson who brought the two people here together? We are we are working on, on that for for now. I, I can open up on that. You leave that to us. We are working on it, to, and we surely get him. Okay. Wherever he is, we will we'll get him to come and tell us why he brought them here. Police say they are vetting the 20 laptops retrieved from the house for evidence of internet fraud. Max Olagbagba is on that beat for us. Expect updates here on the Joy News Channel, your most credible news source.